Good morning, everyone. Brian here again with BMK Retro Gaming. Today I have a review for you guys of the Coleco ColecoVision original library game, Evolution. Now this is one of my personal favorites on the console from back then. It was released uh, by, um, I believe it was Sydney Development Corporation in 1983 and well uh, among the things I like about this game are that uh, whether one accepts the scientific theory of evolution or doesn't personally I do I don't find it to be a problem um, the game at least for what it is gives a pretty decent representation of the concept so it has an educational aspect while it's also in arcade style gameplay and it's pretty fun, as you guys are probably going to see here pretty quick. Um, I don't have a physical copy, so we're going to emulate it through my Coleco, my At Games ColecoVision flashback. So, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get set up, and I will get you guys seeing some gameplay in a sec. Yeah, I think that'll do okay for us. Here we are. Now we're going to pick level one for the easiest, pretty much. It has about six different levels. This is the first one where you are an amoeba. You have to get all of those little strands of DNA. Okay, I'm not going to let it start off killing me on the first dadgum stage. No, thank you. Try again. Now, um, you're an amoeba having to get DNA. Those guys are uh, antibodies and things, you know, um, you have to avoid them. That right there is my ability to, uh, you see that pink meter at the top? It allows you to become intangible or shield yourself or something, I forget. And as long as you have pink in that meter, you can use it. Again, I'm not going to let him do me that way. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't trying to talk and do it at the same time. Anyway, uh... The whole concept is you're trying to evolve from this stage of being an amoeba up into a more advanced stage uh, until you become a human. No, no, no. I'm not playing that crap today. Uh, of course, once you run out of your... Uh, intangibility, shielding, or whatever you would like to consider it as being, uh, it gets a lot trickier. Okay. I don't know why this thing wants to keep playing that little bull these mornings, but I wanted to figure it out. The, the graphics are pretty uh, decent, I think. Ah. I'm going to do that again. Anyway. I mean, that right there is one way to survive this stage. Not so tough otherwise, but... 
matter of fact, if I went to try to explain it to you guys, I'd probably be killing it. It's not really that hard to do. Okay, there we go. Now you get on to level two, where you are a... It describes as a tadpole, but you're really a frog. And your objective here is to count, uh, get five flies to evolve to your next stage of evolution. And of course, touching these fish will kill you. Oh, by the way, to activate things like the frog jump and, um, the, uh, shielding intangibility as an amoeba, you use the, uh, right side action button. And usually they'll clear that jump, but oh well. Come now, I don't want to be sitting here trying to do this video right all dead them day. Or all morning. See, do I have three more flies or what to do? A lot of times you just stick at the bottom without having to worry about jumping much at all to get all of that, so. And that was the last one. Next level is uh, a mouse. And you're going to be pursued, as you guys are going to see in a second, by snakes, which you have the ability to leave your droppings behind, which will get rid of them. Uh, of course, as you guys can probably tell right here, they can be a pain in the neck to try and deal with. You'll find in this game that 5 is a recurring... Uh, it's a recurring number of sequence that you have to be mindful of as pretty much everything you're trying to do you have to do in fives. For instance, I have to get four more pieces of cheese to get through this level. And usually I have four lives, if not more, left by now, but oh well. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. It really wants me to go for the cheese right where those Guys are coming straight out. Just ridiculous. One of the few things I don't like about the gameplay here is, um, at least in stages like this, you tend to get a bit swarmed by your uh, adversaries. And pretty quick. It's a good idea to make this into a kind of maze where they're going to have to really work their way around to try and figure out how to catch up to you, so... After all, you're going to be waiting on that cheese to come out for a bit. Or it does. Oh, no. Okay, so we're down to one life now for nothing. But I got it. And this one, you are a beaver trying to get these... Pieces are supposed to be sticks, I guess, and you're trying to finish building a dam. And those things in the water are crocodiles. In a way, kind of reminds me of a bad representation of the Snapjaws from uh, Donkey Kong Jr., but, um... Otherwise, then it's an acceptable part of the level. Okay, so that playthrough didn't go according to plan, so I'm going to try one more time. 
The beaver, by the way, doesn't really have any defenses you can activate that I know of. I think not. Anyhow. I have a game where the gameplay is not overly complicated, but you don't want to sit there and dawdle or make too many stupid mistakes or you're going to be out. As you guys can see, it gives you five lives starting out, but that can prove inadequate pretty quick. I'm not going to do that. I always hate it where you have games where the computer AI is ranked up to the point that you feel like you're being beaten by a damn machine. It's ridiculous, especially for it to kill you on the first stage, or the first level of the game. Um, I'm sorry, but who would consider that to be all... I mean, I, li I like this game. It's one of my favorites on the Coleco Coleco vision, but I most certainly am not so in love with the difficulty where it tries to take you out on the first stage of the first... It's just not right with me. our next fly. It's two. I told you guys about how I'm kind of resetting these games quite a bit, but I'm not the type who likes to be taken out easy by a game. A game that can do you that way that easy, even when you know what you're doing, is... I can be that way about any game. Human being, an intelligent creature. I can be taken out by a stupid machine all that easily. I'm gonna make it work some to get me. Thinks it's gonna cheat its way into it by taking me out early by technicality or something. Yeah, I don't play that. Okay, so here's this with the mouse again. I hate how levels like this one can go because, well, little snake jerks are going to be after you no matter what you do about it. be kind of interesting how this game insists on doing things in fives for some reason. I would say it's as much interesting as kind of annoying too. I mean seriously. How am I supposed to get around that with... It's just ridiculous. Shouldn't be going to the beaver stage having to worry about having only three lives left. Or two. Well, now it's two that I'm there. Okay. Maybe I'll get to the point I can show you guys the last level if I can just manage to navigate this without getting nailed. Eight out wants to sit there and make you wait and... I mean, seriously, that's not such a complicated little maze right there to go through to get through those guys, but... So we want you to believe it is.
As far as I can tell, the beaver does not appear to have any inherent defenses against enemies, but unlike in most of the other stages, it would appear so. It can get a bit tricky. Okay, and well, that's about as much time for gameplay as I have right now. Okay, sorry I couldn't get you guys, uh, show you guys the last two levels in the game. Some of those parts can be a bit trickier than they should be, and me trying to play and talk at the same time. Like a lot of the other gaming YouTubers I've seen before, that's not such easy multitasking. Anyway, that was Evolution for the Coleco Coleco Vision, an original library game for it. If you guys enjoy my content, please like, share, and subscribe. And, um... Don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments section below. You guys take care, have a good morning, and I'll see you again in my next video.